78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So one of my subs hit me up and sent me some information on this and wanted to know why I wasn't talking about it. He said, man, can you please do a video about this? Um, now, look. According to TMZ, you know, the other news outlets, son of the Mexican legend, the Hall of Fame fighter, um, Julio Cesar Chavez, his son, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., allegedly was uh, been held in a psych ward after trying to take himself off the map. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, he tried to take himself up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Try to get up off of Earth. You know, it's what they say. Um. I don't know what happened, but I feel for any father that has to uh, deal with something like that. I don't know how I would deal with, with something like that. You know, we, we, you know, you try to give your kids the best of, of everything and all the sacrifices you make to make sure that they can have a better life, and they still not happy, man. That's that's got to be something. That's got to make you feel like a failure. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? And you know, but I think that. From just from, I don't know their situation, but I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to talk about the overall situation that I see. And uh, I've been saying this for many years now, and hopefully people understand what I'm saying. I think social media is taking playing a big role in the depression and the mental health of many people in this generation. I think that people look to social media now, how many likes they got, how many dislikes they got. How many people share their videos? How many views they get? Uh, you know, how many comments they get? All this stuff matters to them to the point where it, it, it's about their, they judge their self-worth based off of that. You see what I'm saying? And uh, once you see somebody else doing well on social media and doing good, and then all of a sudden you start comparing yourself to those people. That's what they do, especially the younger generation. Um, they start comparing themselves. See, I'm from a generation to where I congratulate. I don't hate on nobody. I congratulate. Like, look, if somebody else is doing something great, salute to them, get your money, do your thing. However, a lot of people don't see it that way. Even guys my age or older than me, some people, some people, they look, they they hate us too. They just like, nah, man. It's everything's a competition. You know what I'm saying? You know, and. Um, Instead of you being finding your own peace, instead of you finding your own peace and your own happiness, your own little piece of the world that's yours, that, that can bring you joy, and, and this is my happiness. Instead of you being okay with that, you want what the next man got. And as long as you want what the next man or next woman got, you ain't never going to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Because they could be lying about what they got. So how, how are you ever going to be happy? Your, your happiness cannot be uh, dictated to by what the next person got. You have to find out what it is that you want out of life, what it is that brings you peace, what it is that brings you happiness and joy, and you have to harness that and protect that with all your might. You really do. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know what happened with Chavez Jr. I was a fan of Chavez Jr. Um, the, I, I was a fan of the idea of Chavez Jr. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I first heard of him, when he first came out, I said, man, you know, this dude going to be, man, I hope he do well, you know what I'm saying? Because he's the son of, of Julio, you know what I'm saying? If, 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 if this dude does well, do you know how many great fights we're going to have in boxing? How many mega fights? This dude is going to be a huge draw. He's going to bring the fans out. I wanted him to do well. He just didn't have the discipline, the drive that his father had. He had natural talent, natural ability, but he didn't have the dedication and the discipline. He even he even had a better physique, uh, better raw uh, um, tools to work with than his father did. But he didn't have the, the heart that his father had. His father had a heart that was second to none. See what I'm saying? Old school Mexican cat. Old school. Not like these new cats. Old school Mexican cat. Chavez Sr., right? So Junior didn't have that in him. If Junior had the heart that his, of his father, dude would still be fighting today and be the biggest thing in boxing. Who wouldn't even be talking about Canelo? Forget Canelo. Bro, 
if this dude had the heart of his father, we would not be talking about Canelo. I promise you that. I promise you. Just don't got it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. The dedication, all that stuff which wasn't there. So I don't know what's up with Chavez Jr. I wish him the best, though. Hopefully he can bounce back. And uh, I ain't talking about boxing, just in life in general. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he can bounce back and uh, find something that he can do outside of boxing that brings peace to his life. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he's not under the pressure of uh, living, you know, being a son of a legend and, and feeling like he has to do this, he has to do that. Man, maybe golf is your game. You know what I'm saying? Maybe fishing is your thing. You know? Maybe agriculture. Maybe growing crops. And you know what I'm saying? Marijuana business out here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe you 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 are, you gonna be a bad member, jamming when it comes to growing uh, some some bud. You know? You don't know what your assignment is on this planet. You you, you ain't always gotta do what the next man do. Find your path. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I feel bad for Chavez Sr. As a father, you know what I'm saying? I feel bad because as his son, you know what I'm saying? I know I make jokes and stuff. I call him uh, Julio Cartel. They ain't really Chavez Jr.'s. Uh, they ain't really Chavez's son. And I, you know, I say all that stuff. It's just jokes. But in reality, I feel bad for Chavez Sr. Because, you know... If we all want our sons, our children to do well and to, and to do better than us in some degree, you know. Uh, you you want to, when you leave this earth, you want to make sure that your children are safe and, and that they can, can can carry on without you. you know I'm saying once you know that, you, just, you can get up out of here. Ain't no reason to be sticking around here no more. But once we know our kids is good and they can carry on without us and carry on our name, bro, we can get up out of here. It no need to be be waiting around, you know what I'm saying? To be get old, old and sickly and can't walk no more. Just man, get up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's how I feel at least. But when your kids ain't right, you know it's just painful, bro. When your kids ain't right and you don't know exactly what your what your children they suffering through different mental situations, man. That's, that's not a good look. Can't nobody rest easy with that. You see what I'm saying? Nobody can. I think Chavez, uh, his most memorable fight to me was the uh, uh, Sergio Martinez fight. I'm talking about Chavez Jr. His most memorable memorable fight was the Sergio Martinez fight. Sergio was um, middleweight champion of the world at the time. I, you know, you know, Sergio was ducking Triple G, but, you know, he pretty much was trying to get him a huge fight with guys like Canelo and those type of guys. Triple G at the time was a, was a, was a, was a threat, but, you know, he wasn't a big money fight for nobody, so the guys didn't want to fight him. So I understand that. But Chavez Jr., oh, yes, sir. He was, he, he was, he was a big name. So, when um, if, I, if my memory served me correctly, Sergio fought Chavez Jr. And, and Sergio was dogging him, dogging him the whole fight. It was to the point where the crowd, whole crowd, was like, "Man, what is this, man? Come on, Chavez, what are you gonna do?" And Chavez turned it up in like the last round, I believe. I think it was the last round, or was it the eleventh round? I can't remember. I think it was the last round. He turned it up, kind of like. Uh, it was like a, a shade of uh, his father versus Mildred Taylor. He turned it up, right? In the last round, he dropped um, Sergio, I think twice, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've seen that fight. I think I only watched the fight once. I think he dropped Sergio twice, if I'm not mistaken. Sergio was, was all hurt and stuff, and the crowd going crazy. Like, yo, can this be real, bro? Is this dude really about to pull this off? Is he about to stop Sergio Martinez in the last round after getting Molly walked the whole fight. If he pull this off, he's going to be a legend. But it just wasn't meant to be. He didn't pull it off. You know what I'm saying? He didn't pull it off. But it shows you flashes of greatness of what this kid could have been had he had the dedication and the heart that his father had. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, it is what it is. 
He's not his father. You know what I'm saying? They got different problems, different lives. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't want to dwell on this too long and be, you know, making a long, sad video. But that's just how I feel. 70 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. Share this video. And we'll fight here, though. Deuces.